Jimbo is a uh, is a is a is a fallen samurai. Jimbo is actually played by Samuel L. Jackson, um, uh, but Jimbo is he, he, you know he's had a terrible tragedy in, in his life, which has forced him kind of into early retirement, and he's living as a hermit. So uh, he's kind of given up on the on the world, and you know turned his back on everything because he's a little jaded, a little cynical. Hank the dog uh, is played by Michael Sarah, um, who d does an incredible job bringing so much warmth and you know humanity to this dog character. Um, he, he's super, you know, gung-ho and earnest. You know, he's sort of up for any challenge. You know, he doesn't really realize his own limitations, uh, of which he has many. Uh, so he struggles uh, a lot, uh, you know, in his quest to learn to become a samurai. Chuck and Ichiro are hilarious characters. They're, they're sort of the Abbott and Costello or the uh, uh, Laurel and Hardy of this movie. They, they're great sort of uh, supporting characters played by Asif Manvi and Gabriel Iglesias, who do a fantastic job. Ikachu is an incredible villain uh, played by the inimitable Ricky Gervais. Uh, and if you could imagine Ricky Gervais as a cat, it, it would be Ikachu, because he he's just as snide and as sarcastic as uh, as Ricky Gervais is. The Shogun, who sort of uh, you know is is the big boss of this world, is played by Mel Brooks, and of course this you know this movie had to have Mel Brooks uh, in it. Not only is he a producer, but he's playing the Shogun, and of course there's no business like Shogun business. So Michael Sarah was a trooper. He had just moved into a New York apartment, which had no furniture, no rugs, no curtains only brick walls, which is pretty much the worst surface you could possibly imagine for a recording studio. And he stood in his living room and it was, you know, it was terrible. There was echoes. Uh, it was just not the right kind of environment for recording. Uh, and so the best he could do was to get a blanket or perhaps it was a towel and put it over his head. Uh, and he recorded the whole session that way. And I mean, come on, talk about being a trooper. So the thing that drew me to Pause of Fury was a chance to tell the story, which is a fable about a dog who has to become a samurai in a world of cats. And of course, because he's a dog, they hate him. So he's got a lot to overcome. And I think telling that story in animation was actually the perfect medium to do it. Uh, the thing I'm most excited for audiences to see are the characters that we're, we're launching in this film. These are characters that have never been seen before. Hank the dog, played by Michael Sarah, Jimbo, played by Samuel L. Jackson, Ikachu, played by Ricky Gervais, and so many other incredible actors playing wonderful new characters for audiences to meet and to fall in love with. I think the message that I most hope audiences take away from the film is, is it doesn't matter what you look like. Um, you, you know, you can overcome those differences and find a way to fit in. And the characters that are rejecting you because of what you look like on the outside uh, can learn a lesson that what's important is what's on the inside, not what's on the outside. So I think the reason families should see this film in theaters is because going to a movie theater is such a wonderful, wonderful communal experience, um, especially parents and their kids. Uh, I have kids and I love taking them to a movie theater because the screen is so big and the sound is so big and exciting and fun and it becomes a real memory, uh, I think, that we can all cherish as we grow older. Gosh, well, there's so, <laughs> there's so much uh, about my life in a way that parallels this. First of all, animation itself is, is an art form that, you know, it takes years and years to learn. Uh, so starting as a little kid, I used to love to draw and, and it, you know, the first drawings I did were not that good, to be honest. Uh, but it took years and years and years of diligent study and training and pushing myself beyond what I, you know, thought was possible uh, to be able to learn how to do it. Uh, and music actually is, is the same kind of thing. Uh, I started doing music as an as a instrumentalist and singer when I was young, and it's the same kind of thing. Anything that you have to learn, you have to learn in degrees over a long period of time. So it's, it's I think, very much like learning a martial art. Oh yeah, so when I was a kid, uh, we used to have cats, uh, and I loved them so much, but now that I'm an adult, with kids of my own, uh, we have two dogs, which are golden doodles, and they're golden doodle puppies, and they're so adorably cute. Um, and their names are Boba and Mochi, named by my daughter.